When we work, we work. When we pray, God works. We have had consistent weekly prayer to pray for transformation. We've begun to have a greater appetite for God's presence in our community. The community is blessed in many ways by God. What I see in this place is love. God has designed this to work together. And so we're able to partner together and to make a difference. But Stillwater is also part of a much bigger picture. Greetings, my name is Quinn Shipper. I'm the founder and president of Oikos Network Ministries. Community transformation is a process. Some friends and I would like to share with you our progress towards that goal here in the city of Stillwater, where Oklahoma began. We are on a journey which is called community transformation. And community transformation is a mindset where you come to see everything being affected in a community. That is to say, every sphere of influence. There was a, a man who came to Stillwater who was featured on one of the transformation videos, Reverend Muthi, and he shared with all of the pastors about how that their community, the community in which he lived, was changed as the religious leaders, the pastors, got together and prayed. One thing that we learned from George Otis Jr. is that two core factors that are common in all of his transformation studies are persevering leadership and united prayer. So we felt it was important to gather those who were leaders in the church community in the first place to begin praying together. I knew I was praying for the body to come together and in 1984 the Lord downloaded to me a revelation of Ephesians 4, 13 through 16 which is talking about the unity of the faith. And it says, this creates a body which is jointly fitted together. Well, it was so clear to me that unless we talk to each other, we're not gonna be this body jointly fitted together. We're not gonna be what we should be. One of the things that Ed Delf has pointed out to us in the time he spent with us in 2006 is that a unique characteristic that's contributing to transformation here is the relationship that Terry and Mary and myself have. And prayer is one of the main focuses that Mary Murphy has. A marketplace transformation through Terry Carpenter and myself working closely with pastors and churches across the denominational spectrum. You know, not that we do everything together, but I, I think maybe the expression, we try to do things in one accord. Prayer is the heart of transformation. Communication is the key. And through the years, I've seen the relationships of the pastors grow. I believe those relationships have deepened, and, and I've seen the cooperation level rise to a great extent. I think the church should be involved in the community. I mean, that's one of the reasons that, that I'm in business. To me, that's more where the rubber meets the road frankly, than in church on Sunday morning. As we say up front, um, I, I don't have an agenda other than investing in you and believing that God will take you as a leader and will use you in, in work and at home and at church. We have just been trained to have people come into the church and then we'll minister to them when they come into the church. The expectations of the culture is that we're not ever walking into the church. So if they're not coming in, then we need to go out. Instead of that being a Sunday thing, and we actually go outside the church to uh, share Jesus in a real and practical way in the community. So we want to release people into their potential. We want to be part of what God is doing. The bottom line of unity and our transformation is souls for the kingdom of heaven. Through this persevering leadership, and through united prayer that what's happening here is making a difference, not just in Stillwater, but around our world. 